Hey Sagittarius, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Here to do the Divine Dakota messages. And what that is, is we're looking at your journey that you're on now, what path that you've taken, what messages are coming through from spirit, which is necessary for you, what you need to pay attention to, and the book, which is about secrets, research, knowledge. So we'll start with the um, Titania Norman cards. Then we'll do the basis of the reading with the Enchanted Lenormand, which are divination cards for clarity and guidance. And then we've had one card here from the Wisdom of Hidden Realms. So this is the path that you're on here, Sagittarius. You've chosen one of the paths to go down on your journey in life. And you've got the ring. So I'm feeling this is uh, multiple offers that is coming through on this journey. Or agreements it could be a relationship with somebody now you have the writer which is messages you have the letter which is also documents communication and we've got the ship which is travel so <clears throat> I'm feeling here that whatever these um, offers are you're going to receive some helpful information. I feel like that you're going on a lovely trip. So this offers po possibly at a distance, um, possibly overseas. And uh, someone's coming in to help you, give you information about this um, journey that you're embarking on. Now you have the key, which is a um, message from spirit, the divine, it's success. If you've got a question, the answer is yes. And it's about being open on what you need to pay attention to. And you've got the lily that's come with this. So this can represent an important older person. They could be a mentor. And maybe you're getting um, some answers later in life. They're definitely a relationship with an older person. Definitely an older man. It could be your mentor. Someone that's coming in to give you helpful information. Now you've got the whip, which is an action card. It's also something repetitive. It is also um, discussions. Then you've got the stalk, which is about movement and change. And you've got the coffin, which is the ending of a cycle, new beginnings. So what I'm feeling here, there's answers later in life for you so uh, you could be an older person over 40 um, and you've got a, a mentor coming in now this may be a new start for you and it's not going to be easy it's going to be a tough new start but it's only going to be difficult at the beginning there's going to be a lot of fast changes happening for you, Sagittarius. And although you may feel like it's a false start for you, and something you thought looks promising may come to an end. So it's about endings and new beginnings. And you need to pay attention to that. Now you've also got the book, which is, can be messages from the Akashic Records. Doing more research using your knowledge and we've got the scythe so the scythe is um, something you've cut off and are trying to harvest it could be a secret being revealed and it could be a hurtful secret because this the scythe is someone that uses the sharp tongue now you've got the man here which is a man that's important to you this is a snake, which can re uh, represent lies and deceit, can represent um, a rival. And you've got a star, which is positive, so it's good to end on it's a positive card. So I feel like there's going to be, um, with these hurtful secrets that are being revealed, I feel like there's a man... In your life that's not trustworthy 
and you're finding it difficult to cope with that. You know, <clears throat> with the ring, the lily and the scythe. Now, it could be an older man who's a Taurus. But I feel like this may be a peaceful arrangement or someone that you're going to marry later in life. Someone coming in to help to help you. There's also uh, Taurus, Scorpio and Pisces, uh, Aquarius, a big pardon, in the reading. Now, I feel like, um, you know, you're going to hear some news about a friend. We've got the stalk as the um, focus card here, which is changes. This friend may have health issues, even though they're fit. They're fit because the whip's here. That, that's someone that's very fit. This could be the person that's coming in to give you advice. This could be someone that you've known before. It's a karmic return. Now, karmic partners are often sent to our lives as a lesson that we didn't get to learn in a previous lifetime. And what they do is they mimic the issues that we've had in the past until um, we are able to resolve those um, issues. Now, after the soul has been untied from the unfinished business, the relationship is over. So this is something you need to pay attention to. The main purpose of this karmic relationship is to change us into a better person and then that person disappears. But if you're wanting something to, to last here, no karmic relationship will ever work out. Now, it's definitely news of change. It may be difficult news for you. And the news of betrayal with a snake and something ending, a final letter from somebody. Now, this is about a male and their sexuality. This man's very sexy and going through a difficult journey. Now they're training to become the best version of themselves and this man is charming. There will be some sort of positive news that's beginning for you Sagittarius. And you will make progress with a happy arrival. And there will be um, a time when your dreams are going to start coming true. But you've got to be careful of trouble that's around this. There will be travel problems in the future, which may become difficult for you. But keep the hope because relief is coming with improvements. There will be a positive ending out of all of this. So it may not seem like it now, but there will be a positive ending. Now you've got the Arrow Master from the Wisdom of Hidden Realms. It's number 10. And this is about putting your intentions out there, detaching yourself from negativity and hitting the mark on what you want to aim for. And then you've got a beautiful, I think it's um, fairy type image in the corner here. You've got the um, pendulum hanging down. You've got the quarter moon. You've got another pendulum over here. So whatever you're aiming for, you will hit the mark. Now, I'm going to read a little bit out of the book for the Arrow Master, but when this card appears to help you target your intentions and teaches you how to be a straight shooter for the stars. So definitely, all this is going to be worth it in the end. Now, the message is to be deliberate about focusing your dreams and desires with intention and about aligning your intention with spirit. Then let them fly on the wind, directed by the divine, until you reach your goal. So that's a um, nice positive message that's coming through. Now the only way to hit the target is to allow the arrow of your intention to fly unencumbered by your eagerness to see it travel exactly the way you want it to go. Now you may think it needs to veer a certain way to reach your goal, but in the invisible realms, human power cannot make this happen. The the divine has its own idea of how the arrow flies and upon 
what wind it's carried. Nonetheless, if you don't shoot, you'll never score. This is fortunate message for you, Sagittarius. As long as you remember the law of detachment, if you do, then be assured that you are on the right point. That's beautiful. Now I'm going to give you your angel messages, which is number 10. And when the angel number 10 presents itself in your life, you need to make sure that you're paying attention. Your guardian angels are trying to convey an important message to you. Now the message can be in the form of dreams and intuitions. Uh, most of the time they can just appear to you as a, an angel number. And the angel number 10 carries a message that you should have, have complete faith in your chosen path. You should stand by your life decision and believe that you have made the right ones. Now your angels want you to know that you should not be afraid or uncertain. They are right there with you in this life's journey called life. And what you should do instead is to listen to what your instincts are telling you. You have the intelligence and the personal determination to follow through your plans. Your angels are confident that you, are, you can accomplish anything that you set your mind on. Now, it's only right that you trust in the power of the angel number 10 to help you achieve these goals. So, as I said, you, you might have a little diff, difficult journey starting over, but you definitely got to set your intentions to reach these goals. So, hit that mark here, Sagittarius. So, if it resonated with you guys, please leave a comment, like and subscribe to the channel for further uh, videos, and please stay safe, guys. See you soon.